so many powders. How does a girl choose? What? Typically, a loose setting powder is made to be loose, so it binds to the foundation, blurs pores, and makes your makeup stay all day. That's the intention for a translucent loose powder. Ooh, like the Huda cupcake. What? Watch. I use a loose brush, 40s and up, like don't go in there hardcore with a puff. That's a no for me, all right? So I go in just the tip, I graze to set, blur, smooth, and make sure that it stays all day. See the difference? Blurred, not blurred. The powder foundation is for the pressed powder, okay, covering where there's more need for coverage, like rosacea, sunspots, melasma, if you have like discoloration, that's where I bring in a pressed powder. Do I ever do a straight up powder foundation? No. When you guys ask me like, review a powder foundation, no, I don't do powder foundation for me or my clients 40s and up. That's a no, okay? But to set and touch up for more coverage, yes. This is the Makeup Forever 1R18. I love it to set and or touch up for additional coverage. I love it for setting. I love it for touching up. But as a straight up foundation, no. The Fenty gives me plenty of coverage for touching up for sure. However, no matter what you do, when you are done, I go crazy with the setting, priming, misting sprays, the Peach and Lily Glass Skin is a fave. So in a nutshell, the translucent will set and lock it in and blur, and the powder foundation will give you more coverage. So choose wisely.